Dick Sweet tells us about his work on developing a high-speed printing device that resulted in the inkjet printer. His work was published in reviews on scientific instrumentation. And it was this work that Mac Fulweiler started with when he tried to build the first sorter. This is a project that I worked on in the Applied Electronics Laboratory here at Stanford starting in uh, 1961. And the, uh, the goal of this work was to uh, write with small droplets of ink that were generated and, uh, and uh, deflected uh, by the methods that eventually came, became the same methods used in the cell sorter. Um, my first involvement with cell sorting, uh, I guess, was in the summer of 1963, which was before I'd actually published any, anything on the work that I was doing. But I got a, a letter from Mac Fulweiler, who was working at the uh, University of California at Los Alamos, who had seen uh, or talked to someone who had seen some of my work. I don't know, know now where he became aware of it. But he was uh, working with a Coulter, Coulter counter, which was a device for analyzing cells in a flow system, and was feeling a need for some method of sorting the, the cells that he was analyzing in his, in his setup. And as a result, result of some correspondence between the two of us in the summer of 1963, he came out and visited me and told me a bit about his work. And uh, we had some conversations, uh, which were interesting to both of us, I think. I, I knew nothing at all about cells at the time. And uh, he went back to Los Alamos with uh, some borrowed equipment of mine and started work on, on what became the first cell sorter. And where did your work on the inkjet printing go? Uh, that uh, was eventually became uh, uh, commercial device and it's now used for uh, uh, mostly for product marking and uh, unfortunately perhaps uh, direct mail advertising. Uh, most of the junk mail now is advertised, uh, is addressed uh, with inkjet printers and if you look on the bottom of Coke cans and beer cans that you buy in the supermarket, uh, many of them will have an, ink, an inkjet printed uh, date code on the bottom. In fact, a lot of packaged materials that are date-coded or marked on an assembly line are marked with inkjet printing now.